I have something I need to get off my chest. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been really quiet about it for a long time. But it's a real thing. And it's time that I air it out. I'm in an abusive relationship with the Chargers. I truly am. I mean, you look on paper. You have Justin Herbert. You have Keenan Allen. Mike Williams. Bunch of players on this team that I love. I adore them. I want the Chargers to be great. And on paper, they should be. Yeah. But every single week, it's the same shit. And I was talking about it in week one, and I'm going to talk about it in week two. Probably going to talk about it every week on the show, to be completely honest. I apologize ahead of time. This team, this is a team I want to do great things because they deserve it. Their fan deserves it. I almost said fans, but I know the Chargers fan base. Their (laughs) Their fan fan deserves it. Honestly, for that one fan in the stands, I hope that you're just excited for this team. But it's like, it's always the same problem. Every single week, it's the same problem. You're going to get four or five dumb play calls, whether you're risking it on fourth and 18, whether it's, you know, an offsides call to one of your O-linemen, whether it's Joey Bosa, I don't know, doing some weird shit on the other side. It's like there's always something. Or maybe it's JC Jackson getting cooked by an unknown receiver. (laughs) You know, who's the other who's the third guy for the Titans? Art Art Sega Whiteside or some <laughs> shit? I don't even fucking um the Westbrook Aquina. Westbrook Aquina, yeah, yeah, one of those guys. Getting cooked by one of these guys. It's the same thing every week. And what was my prediction? I said they're either gonna win by a field goal or they're gonna lose by a field goal. And what happened? They lost by a field goal yeah. in overtime because of poor play calling, because of just chargerisms, flags, penalties. Um, I think they're top five in penalty yards. Mm -hmm. So that's great. That's a team. That's a momentum killer. And it's just the same thing every week. It's like they need a play. They don't get a play. They need a stop. They don't get a stop. It's the same shit every single week. And it's just painful for me because this is a team I want to love. I love Justin Herbert. And he's got 265 million reasons why he should be that guy. And then every time that they need a play, they don't get it. So what's the problem here? First of all, you should have fired Brandon Staley. The fact that he even has a job and he's not working at fucking Taco Bell is amazing to me. (laughs) I just don't get it. And it's like, and the best part is they talked about it before the game. It's like, oh, has anything carried over from that Jags loss? No, (laughs) no, it hasn't. Really? The way you answer things, sometimes (laughs) the words say a lot more than what you see in the in the quote you know and for him the way he responded very defensively body language body language very pressed when they asked him that question buddy you guys blew a 27 point lead not a one score touchdown not a two score not a three score a four score lead four score and 30 points ago the chargers absolutely imploded against the jags and what did they do they kept the same personnel in there. They're like, oh, I know what we need. An offensive coordinator. Because, you know, Justin Herbert didn't put up enough numbers last year. Yeah. Because that's the problem, right? No. Their problem is that they have an absolute clown at head coach. And it's the same shit every year. And it's never going to change. They need to go out and get a grown-up yeah. head coach. A, head, a guy who's not a complete bozo. <laughs> a guy who shouldn't be working for taco bell someone who should be saying hey may i take your order this guy's an absolute bozo and i don't even think he's a good defensive coordinator you're talking about a defense he's supposed he was anointed as the sean McVay of defense really (laughs) is that what sean McVay would do if he was a defensive coordinator good god he should start saying ming hao and play for the (laughs) shanghai sharks this is a disgrace i'm so sick and tired of this chargers team it's not even funny so when i talk about i'm in a painful relationship on paper, when I see a matchup that is, you know, saw a team that they should win, why are they 0-2? They shouldn't be 0-2. Yeah. They should be 2-0. and Or even 1-1, I'll even take that. Yeah. But it's the same shit every week. And it's so frustrating for me because I want to like them. But they just keep shooting me in the foot every week. It's like I am. <laughs> feels like I'm watching Johnny Depp and Amber Heard unfold right in front of me right now. It's like I the feel like I'm in the middle of an M&M music, your- I'm in the middle of a music Eminem music video right now. Recovery yeah. era. Yeah, it's I feel like, like I- I'm hearing Rihanna in the background screaming I love the way you lie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love the way you take that warm shit on my bed just like Amber Heard. <laughs> <laughs> and the Chargers right now are Amber Heard.